First and foremost, <clears throat> allow me to congratulate the Interpol for this year marks 100th anniversary of its formations and through its tireless effort, significant development to policing have been made worldwide. We in Malaysia are proud to be part of the Interpol evolutions. Much has been done, but moving forward, much more strategies need to be explored and implemented in the face of an ever-changing landscape of crime, the new era. Criminality in this new century has expanded its target beyond private citizens. Criminality in this age affect communities, government, and even nations. In the context of Malaysia, the Royal Malaysian Police has participated in numerous multilateral platforms that have been initiated in our regional effort in combating crime. The Royal Malaysian Police, being a police force of more than 200 years, have enough experience to know that cooperation at all levels is the ultimate weapon in controlling crime. Whether in intelligence, investigation skills, exchange of fugitive, overall capacity building, or setting up of task forces, it is a serious reflection of our international effort to develop originally effective justice and security institutions and to continuously promote international cooperation in addressing various transnational crimes problems. Ladies and gentlemen, the Association of South Asian Nations, or ASEAN, have long realized the need to have a regional body to serve as a coordination and communication mechanism in combating tran transnational crime. With transnational crime expanding and becoming <clears throat> more organized, ASEAN have called for a comprehensive and coordinated approach in combating crime at the regional level. For almost any type of crime, transnational crime, such as terrorism, ANC hijacking, and drug smuggling are serious concerns that beg for a cooperation's international response. In terms of cooperation, in the last few years have shown the effectiveness of the ASEAN Paul collaborations in implementing various resolutions adopted during its conference. Even though ASEAN Paul is yet to be an operational entity like the Interpol, but serious consideration is given to eventually adopt this approach in the near future. Ladies and gentlemen, in, 2030, in 2010, a permanent ASEAN Paul Secretariat was established to ensure a proper and effective implementation of resolution adopted at annual ASEAN Paul conferences. Malaysia was given the honor to have the Secretariat to be established in Kuala Lumpur. The establishment dignifies the strong commitment of the Malaysian government to ASEAN Paul. Furthermore, this firm and continuous commitment is to be expanded by considerations of our effort in a bigger and better office premises to ASEAN Paul Secretariat to help ASEAN Paul to expand their operations and to contribute effectively in order to carry out its moderate for the benefit of member countries in Southeast Asia region. Ladies and gentlemen, to touch about Islamic State, IS, I would like to stress here that Malaysia is not and will never, will never be a hub of militant or terrorism activities. With the, with the advance of the internet, 
namely the social media. Ideologies are spreading very widely and easily. We understand that militant activities in this area and within this era are far-reaching and will continue to denounce any extremist movement. More recently, our concern and effort are focused on the activities and linkages to the Islamic State's movement. To date, 41 arrests of suspected local would-be recruits was made under our Malaysian Security Offences or Special Measures Act 2012, or known as SOSMA. Ladies and gentlemen, realizing the complexity and emerging threat of transnational crime, Malaysia remains fully committed and has taken concrete steps in various areas such as institutional capacity building and training of its law enforcement agencies, as well as improving its domestic legislative and regulatory framework to enhance its capacity and, capaci and capability to to combat transnational crimes. Malaysia decided to implement a, a whole of government approach which the challenges and solutions are equally shared among relevant stakeholders. As the lead spurred on anti-money laundering and maritime safety, Malaysia has made great strides in areas providing technical assistance, training and capacity building in this region. On the landmark achievement implemented by the government of Malaysia in addressing transnational crime is the amendment of Prevention of Crimes Act, or known as POCA. The act came into effect on the 2nd of April this year, which responds to a series of serious crime wave that occurred in countries since 2011. Another act that complement POCA and created a, to equip Malaysia to tackling current and future threat of serious and organized crime, including terrorism, is Security Offenses uh, Special Measures Act 2012, which aptly acronym as SOSA, which SOSMA is used to establish our effort in not only combating crime, but also eliciting trafficking of narcotic drugs and organized crime, known as Special Tactical Intelligence Narcotic uh, Team of Sting, which are working very closely with other agencies. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, on the aspect of trafficking of, uh, in person, Malaysia uh, continues to strive for better improvement pertaining to the protection of element which the Government of Malaysia has announced the implementations of a pilot project to work together with non-governmental organization or NGO with sporting shelter home for victims of trafficking in person. The project has been operating since uh, 21st April this year and is managed by the Department of Women's uh, Development under the Ministry of Women, Family and Community Development in, in collaboration with the appointed uh, NGO. And finally, on the main issues pertaining to cybercrime and online issues, uh, I would like to stress here that uh, we are putting our serious uh, effort in addressing cybercrime and online issues, which uh, we are setting up few collaborations with uh, international investigations uh, agencies like Interpol, Arsenapol, and uh, Europol <coughs> to combat the activities of crime using the new medium of uh, crime. And <clears throat> in Malaysia, <clears throat> we are strongly collaborating with many other agencies, which I reckon is going to be established 
with the new setup of uh, Interpol uh, unit in Singapore. And uh, as I had uh, indicated earlier, these corporations and uh, cooperation will be strongly built together. And I hope with the new Secretary General of Interpol to replace the old Secretary General, I would like the uh, delegates to give a big hand to old our old Secretary General. Big hand to him. Thank you very much indeed.